Today we are going to be talking about Task by Planner and how you can utilize it to make you more efficient. So let's talk about it. So the best advice that I could give you, first of all, is download Task by Planner on all of your devices. Now I have it on my phone, I have it on my desktop, I have it on my laptop, and I have it on my iPad. So I use it through um, Microsoft Teams. So I download the Microsoft Teams app on all of my devices and make sure that they are all connected. I also use Outlook Webmail, which, util which utilizes to-dos um, inside the webmail. And so you can also connect those. So no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing, I'm always able to create a task so that I don't forget and so that I can keep track of everything that's happening throughout the day. The next thing that I would recommend is to always use the due dates if you can. So when you're on a task and you click the three buttons on the side, you can choose a due date for that task and tell when it is due by. This is so important if you're adding a task that not, doesn't necessarily have to be done that day, but you know needs to be done by next week. It's just a great way to keep you on schedule and not to forget. Another thing that I would recommend utilizing is the priority. I love to section out my different tasks by the priority that I have assigned it. So when you click on the three buttons to the side of a task, you can choose the priority and you can choose if it's medium or important. When you do that, it puts a little exclamation point next to the important ones. Something that's really cool when you change the importance of each of your tasks is you can filter them in the top right hand corner by clicking priority and then clicking importance. And when you do that, only the importance will show. I think this is super awesome if you really want to get done, you know, the critical tasks for a specific day of the week. And then you can change it back to the medium. And here are all of them. So I just really love this because it's a great way to keep organized and, and keep you productive. So another important thing that you can do is create new lists and plans to section out your different tasks. What I like to do is create one that says personal, like I have here. And this basically has my tasks for the day that are a little bit more non-work related. Let's say that I want to go grab a coffee with one of my coworkers to make sure that they're doing okay, things like that, where it's not as work related or as important to a certain topic. You can even section them out for different categories. Let's say if you work with the sales team and the marketing team, you could have a specific list for the marketing team and a specific list for sales team. Now, these lists are just going to be for you. This is not connected to a team. These are just for you. This is just organization for yourself. If you would like to create a list for multiple people, that would then be considered a plan and you would connect that to a channel or a team. So if you see here, I have one for the Axiom demo account that says, let's do a project. Here is our list here and you can tell that we want to get into automate and that is assigned to John. And so what's really cool is when you utilize plans as well as lists, you can assign certain tasks to your teammates on that specific team. So that is very helpful and we can dive into that in just a minute. So this is the icon that I was telling you guys about that was the to-dos connected to your webmail. So this is also connected to Task by Planner. Now, if you go right here and you click Task, that is where you can see the same exact task that I had on my previous um on my previous list I had pulled up on Teams. Now this is inside Outlook, but they call it to-dos. Why is that? Because they also have different lists here, like planned, importance, my day, um, where you could actually have specific tasks that need to be done this exact day. So it's like, a whole different view of looking at it. It's very interesting. I would suggest if you're new to Task by Planner to 
dive into this part of it, um, Microsoft to do's and see if this view is a little bit easier for you rather than utilizing the Microsoft Teams view of Task by Planner. But you have to be careful because you can use Microsoft Teams on your phone, on your laptop, on all of those devices, whereas this is a little bit harder to get to um, on your phone, but they do have a to-dos app as well. I would just recommend if you're already using Microsoft Teams to just use the Microsoft Teams app, but you can also download the to-dos app. So let's talk about creating a plan inside a team. So I'm gonna go over to the Microsoft Teams general channel and I'm going to hit the plus button. When you hit the plus button, you have the opportunity to add different tabs. I'm going to click on the task by planner. So here I'm going to create a new plan and I'm going to title it YouTube projects. Now you can choose to post it to the channel. Um, I'm going to say no because I don't want them to be notified about it. And then I'm going to save it. It's going to create that tab for us and you can now see it on the top of your general teams channel. This is very cool because when you create a plan inside a Teams channel, you can have a few more options than you would inside just the regular Task by Planner um, tab on the left side. What you can do is you can view it in a list view, which is very normal to us. That looks a lot like how it does over here with the list view here. But then you also have a few new views Let's go to this. You got the board view. So you can actually create these things called buckets. Now these are just ways to section off your tasks that can help you. So let's say this is Bobby's bucket. And then this is Kaylee's bucket. Oh gosh, I can't spell bucket. Okay, and so when you look here, you can just scroll around and you can see that there are different tasks inside different buckets. Now, I could have sectioned them off by YouTube video. Let's say I wanted to do um, a few tasks for the task by planner video. Let's say I have another video in the future that has a few tasks and I section out that way. Whatever works with your brain and your team, that's how you should do it. But it's a great way to utilize another way to just categorize these and make your team more efficient. Now, you also have a chart view. This is very cool because you can see how your different buckets, how your team, how your tasks are doing. Like here, you have zero tasks left to do. You have some maybe in progress, maybe some that are late, some that are completed, and you can just see how those are doing here at the top. You can also see how the buckets are doing, which I think is really cool. So, you know, you could track, um, what buckets are doing better than other buckets. You can also track how the priority is, is um, sectioned out. So let's say that maybe more low tickets are getting done than urgent. You can talk with your team about that, as well as the members themselves. So here's me and Bobby and how we've been completing tasks. So you can really see how each one of your team members are doing with their tasks. I think this is so awesome. I think this is a great way to utilize Task by Planner and really stay efficient and effective inside your team. You can really hold them accountable, um, call them out if they're not doing well, or call them out if they're doing super well. And I love that about this view. So last view that you can see is the schedule view. Now, if you look at schedule view, this is basically just a calendar view of your tasks. So if you have certain ones that are due on certain days, it's going to show you here in the schedule view. The reason that I show you all of this is because if you're not utilizing this inside your teams, you're missing a whole aspect of task by planner that can really help the efficiency of your business. So, if you're not using this in your team, please make sure to check this out and dive more into it yourself. See how you can utilize it in your team because it has helped us a lot in our team. I hope that these different tools and ways that you can use Task by Planner has given you guys the confidence that you need to incorporate it into your team. I love Task by Planner and we will continue to make videos on Task by Planner as maybe they update it or change it up a bit. We just wanna keep you guys in the loop of what is happening with this awesome application that you can utilize through 
um, Microsoft Teams. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, if you have any recommendations on videos, please make sure to comment. Um, or if you have any questions about Tasks by Planner, let us know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to our channel and hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified anytime we upload a new video. We appreciate you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.